What's up, YouTube? This is Mr. B. Crapful for episode 63. And I'm back to wearing my typical, uh, you know, look where I got the retro uniform on and everything. But today I'm going to do something different um, while we're talking about the crap. Where um, I'm going to do a reenactment of what happened to me on Sunday. But before that, let's get to the crap. No matter what year it is, no matter what style it may be, or even what rank you might be in, there's one thing for certain though, it's so crappy to work at. Burger crap. So I'm back uh, after that intro and everything, so let's get down to the crap that happened this past weekend. So instead of me opening Saturday like I usually did, I came in at like, well I was supposed to come in at 12, but they changed the time on me and they called me in early because we were getting ahead busy for some odd reason. I'll get in details in a moment. But um, what exactly happened was they called me in like around 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Told me uh, what time I could come in. I told them I didn't really want to come in, but they told me I could come in as early like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So I'm like, okay, I can go in that much, you know, that time frame. You figure I'd get done early and stuff like that. Uh, well, not done early, but, you know, get more hours. So I get in there about like 11.20ish, because I didn't really want to go in that early, but I didn't want to, you know, be there on time, because they told him I was going to try. So I get there, I'm talking to one of my co-workers, and it's obviously hell, because first off, we don't have air conditioning working, so, and it was hot as hell this past weekend, so that really sucked ass. And then, um, second of all, it was free garbage day. Um... Basically, what that meant was is any, anyone from the city heading to the town, there was free dumping going on. It was one of those free dump, you know, days where people can't afford to dump their own shit out because they can't, you know, they can't, they can't, you know, afford uh, crab royalty uh, garbage cans and stuff like that. So, needless to say, they went to the town to go do their dumping, and guess where they went to go eat afterwards. Burger crap, of obvious choice. So that plus coupons plus if you saw the commercial, um, I'll see if I could try to find on YouTube and put in, you know, right here. Exciting things are happening at Burger King. Welcome to Burger King. Oh, uh, what's in those new chicken snack wraps? What's in the new what's chicken? What's in the new chicken wraps? Mary. Crispy chicken. Chicken snack wraps. Come and get it at first. If not, you're just gonna hear me talking continuously after that, you know, right here segment I was gonna try to do. And basically, uh, the snack wraps, the uh, ranch and honey mustard, went on sale for a dollar. So you, I, you could buy wraps for a dollar. Just this past weekend was nuts. And I'm not drinking the crap anymore. I'm drinking with a bottle now. So, um, yeah, so anyways, lost my train of thought here. So the, the wraps were a dollar, coupons, free jumping. We got slammed, like slam junk, on a hot, slammy Saturday. Probably wouldn't have made sense with a Sunday, but anyways. Yeah, maybe so. So I was on Burger Board that day, and, um, like, as soon as I came in, you know, I'm going on Burger Board. Alright, so I get on Burger Board, I get myself organized. They have now the toasters side by side um, on what used to be the heat shoe, uh, not the heat shoe, uh, the steamer. And we don't have any metal rack that could stay in place like we do, but I have to put it like, next to the broiler so it doesn't, you know, fall down the little slanted drain hole we have, which is retarded. Um, and, you know, get my buns from there. Uh... Luckily enough, on Sunday, I'll fix that, but I'll tell you that when I get to Sunday. So, I, you know, go get, you know, two racks, three racks of burger buns, or one rack of Whoppers, and we had a small rack of the Artisan buns. Um, before I forget, T-Grill is now on an Artisan bun. They discontinued the Ciabatta buns, which were those square-ass buns, you know, 
that were oh my god it's 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 delicious it's it's wheat and it's yeah well that's gone um and they're being replaced with the Arista bun just to match the other sandwiches not the Whopper just you know the T Chris the Chef's Choice and the fish so anyways that was replaced but um back to Saturday. I got my bun set up and everything. Uh, level three stackers, three stacker doubles, three double cheeseburgers, yada yada. Uh, constantly had the guy on main board drop me meat, um, which was fine. I kept getting hit left and right. You know, one or I had seven junior. No, I had five juniors, then two juniors for eating, then seven. No, then five stackers after that. So. Five juniors for one eating order, two juniors for another eating order, and then five single stacks for a drive through order. All at once. Yeah, not cool. And then followed by like one or two more orders afterwards that just happened within like, I don't know, minute, two minutes. Yeah, that's not fair. I asked for help, didn't get the help I needed, so I was pissed off. Um, and this rush kept going from at least 11.30 to, I would say, fuck. Four, yeah, it was it was one of those rushes, and it was bullshit. Um, but oddly enough, most of the rush was not drive-through based; it was more on eating based. Like I said, people were coming from the dump, so that made sense for them to come into Burger King and just eat there instead of going on driving and hang home. We had at least I want to say twenty thirty people show up for front counter, and how many waves we got? I would say six waves. So you're looking around, what? Somewhere, ballparking around maybe 100 to 180 people showing up, just front counter alone, um, just from 11.30 to 4. Around 4.30 I got my break. Yeah, I know. Delayed didn't break much. Jackasses. So I finally get the break. I go and sadly eat there. I didn't really want to eat. Um... Fun fact, the managers have lost their discounts now, because we can't keep driving time in only three minutes. But here's the thing, and this I gotta relate to Sunday. Everything's gonna be related to Sunday when I get to it. So I'll leave that, but this thing, you know, I'll tell you in a moment. Um, so I go for my break, I, I eat sadly, and then I get back in and work, you know, the other hour and a half, two hours in the kitchen. Um, where was I? I did go back on main board, and I hold down on the sandwiches and stuff. We were training, we were training two new people that day. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell you how many people were in the kitchen. Fuck, there were like seven people in the kitchen this time around. That's the highest number I've ever had in five years. Seven people in the kitchen. Front guy, I think like like four or five. Oh yeah, you can tell it was a nuts day then. But anyways, we were training two new people in the kitchen while having the five others in the kitchen at the same time. So it's a little crazy, a little hectic, you know. One was over there, you know, figuring out prep. The other one was doing bacon, trying to drop me again, dishes done, while me and the guy on main board were like killing our, killing the sandwiches uh, off our screen. And then the guy on spec board was like, rap, 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 Like continuous raps. The guy said he took out like at least five, six packages of wraps, which hold back, I think, 10 to 15 tortilla shells. And he went for at least most of them. I think he said four or five. So you, you estimate we had at least about 50 wraps or more that day in probably just a few hours. It was just nuts. Um, so yeah, we had you know all those people come in. I came back in from break and I was on main board. Uh, one guy went to go do prep. The other guy went to go do dishes. And we already had someone on spec board by then. So that was, wasn't too bad because that person came in at five. From 5 to 7, things were okay. Things were doing a little bit better than, you know, originally planned. However, my day went from, you know, getting out at 7 to getting out at 8 because of stupid shit. The person who was supposed to replace me was late at their, uh, deranked de douchebags, a.k.a. Dunkin' Donuts, um, because the person didn't know who was coming in to take over, and that person had to do the floors, so I was stupid and retarded, and that person was late, like, 45 minutes, so I was like, the fuck? The fuck, basically. Um, and I just worked my butt off, but I told the manager, if that person wasn't here by 8, I'm leaving. Whether they want, you know, 
needed needed help or not. Luckily, that person showed up quarter to eight, and I left. Um, and that's my day for Saturday. Now let's talk about Sunday, meaning that I hold off a lot of things on Sunday. So I go and open YouTube piece and screen wasn't done. I'll be I'll get into the react in a moment. So that wasn't done, and we had to get set up. So I went and go do the cooking in that, and well, I couldn't even get that done because the jackass who closed that night uh, put all the brother parts in the fucking fry freezer. And I had to remove the broiler parts from the fry freezer, put it in an obscure place, and then to piss me off more, there was dirty water at the bottom of the fucking thing. So I had to go get a rag, get the sanitized water that we just got done filling up, wipe down the bottom, put in you know the, the dirty water down the drain, and go over there and plug it in, put in the fr you know get that started to freeze up. So set up and everything took me about thirty to thirty five minutes because of that bullshit close that person did. And then, cooking, I barely got you know got everything done. The only thing that still was not comp completely cooked and done right away was the biscuits, but at least I had eggs, sausage, bacon, and French toast sticks, and hash browns. So for some reason we were missing the divider between the onion rings and fries. I don't know how that went missing. Um, we got a lot of, you know, like I said last episode, a lot of uh, new utensils. Now we have like five, six blue tongs, finally. God, we got up the ass red tongs. Um, got so many fucking little containers to hold little shits now. Because we got, you know, the blue cheese, we got the fucking peppers and onions, the salsa, the romance lettuce, the red onions. And that's not counting for the stuff that needs to go into the salads. I mean, a lot of little shits, but not enough little pans to be put on spec board or main board and the lids that go with that. We don't have enough of those. We've got plenty of grates, we've got plenty of the big pans, we've got plenty of the uh, bigger grates, lids, all that other jazz but that stuff. And new toasters. Speaking of new toasters, the cost for a new toaster is $850 apparently. Um, those who watch me, can you verify that? Because that's what I'm hearing from a certain manager from our certain store. Appreciate the feedback. Um, so that's why we're just going to continuously beat the crap out of our toasters. Um, until they're nothing but shit and a shit storm. And then, for some fucking reason, go get, you know, a repairman... To go repair the toasters, get a half-assed job done on repairing it, and then still, you know, not work as properly as it should. Like, the fuck are we doing here? Like, you could save money. Instead of hiring a guy to go fix your toasters, fuck, you could save the money and go buy a new toaster. Hell, at least if we have one new toaster, it'd be better than having fucking three messed up toasters that burn our buns every, uh, I don't know, every other fucking order. So anyways... Uh, back to Sunday. Um, so I got all the setup done, get all the cooking done. Everything was going off smoothly. The guy that came in the morning came in around eight o'clock. He started doing prep, and about quarter to nine, I go on break. So it was looking good. Well, almost quarter to nine. I actually didn't go on break till about a little after nine. Anyways, so nine third rolls around, and the YouTube piece and screen was still not done yet. But we had setup. We had everything stocked, we had everything going well, but those parts done to get the brawler going. Now mind you, um, this took a little bit of time, but you know what, I don't need to explain it, let me let, have my you know reaction segment explain it for you. Tom, what are you doing? Oh, well, oh my god. god. Oh my I, I, god, I'm sorry. what is wrong I, with you? Uh, Why'd you go uh, up right oh and describe with a brother in YouTube piece? I, I, what is I, wrong I, with you? Yeah, it takes a I half just, hour you know, to freaking I, try I, it. I, it takes 45 uh, minutes but for it to try me. What is I, wrong I, with you? I, uh, ah, I didn't... Uh, ah, I, uh, ah, yeah. ah. And we're back. See what I mean? That segment basically explains everything of the situation. The manager got over-relaxed... Over, overreactedly pissed for no reason, walked out the door, didn't know what the fuck to do, was going to scream her head, uh, her head off because she didn't grasp the idea of shit was not done 
on time. Now, in the past, yeah, sure, you know, YouTube piece and screen wasn't done on time. And yes, we we did sell breakfast to about 11, 11, 30 at one point or another. But it doesn't mean you need to overreact about it. Now, it's not like it happens on a daily basis. It happens every, every now and then. So, I got that done. And I put, you know, on the heat shoot, the heat up and everything. Spec food gets all cooked, and we don't start lunch till about 11. Now, here's the, another fucked up reason I'm pissed off. So, they sent a guy that came in at 8 on break at like 11, 11, 30. Understandable. But here's the thing. I was not done yet. I didn't have all the cooking done on the broiler. So, I'm running one or two pans of burger, one pan of Whopper, um, while I'm getting slammed a little bit, and need to play catch-up. And then, you know, the, the, the thing that I don't get is the managers get way too aggravated, too. Um, and granted, I know it's their business, but here's the thing. And I don't understand their aggravation. When I say I'm by myself, and I'm trying to get all the cooking done, and I'm trying to get your level up, and I'm trying to make sure I'm stocked, that doesn't mean you turn around and give me an attitude about, well, you know, you should have this done. You know, this other guy gets it done on time, and there's no problem with that. Okay, let me clarify something. I'm not that other person. Okay, I'm never going to be that other person. I'm not going to be the exact same thing that person does. All right? It doesn't mean you need to take, you know, me into consideration of being a fuck up. All right? That's not, no, that's not fair. So, and the fact you left me by myself, regardless, that person in that same situation would not get it done as fast as I'm getting it done. Okay? No matter how you look at it, the, sa the same situation would still screw that same person over no matter how good they are at it. That pissed me off. So I, I somehow managed, I struggled, but managed to get three pans of burger, two pans of Whopper, four chefs choice, and no, no, three chefs choice and four toppers up and gone, um, going, and then t girl finally getting cooked. So that took me a little bit of time. Um, but overall I got it done, uh, and the lunch rush and everything was okay. Like it didn't drastically go as bad as it did on... Saturday, but we were prepared just in case. We did superly stocked up on Sunday, um, prep wise and everything else. And then around 1:30, uh, the guy who was on main board had to go on break, um, but he went like five, ten minutes late. So I'm like, the fuck. I'm there till like 2:10, 2:15 because the guy took his sweet ass time to get back in the kitchen. Um, and then after that, I pretty much left around 2.33 o'clock because I was not going to stay till 4 and deal with that hot shit of a mess of a job I work at. And that's the thing. It was hot that weekend. I'm not going to stay in a hot mess where we have broiler fryers and the oven going on all at once. And then customers complaining that the heat must be on because it's so hot in the damn building. And we can't even turn air conditioning on because of possibly two reasons. I don't know the r real reason. Either one or our actual AC actually broke the third time around, or, um, for what I'm apparently hearing, we can't turn it on unless the district manager approves it. You, yeah, it's ballpark, I don't know. Anyways, so that's all the crap that I had for that weekend, and next weekend is just as crappy. Uh, I think they got a day's schedule mix, mixed up or I think, but... Apparently Saturday I'm working like 1 to 6.30 and Sunday like 12 to 7. I don't know. It's something like that, but I know I'm not opening, thank God. Ugh, God. So, in other news, uh, Dark Gasman 92 has not updated yet, but he is planning to update very soon. He's got a few new videos in the works. He'll be uploading them as soon as possible. Um, SRC shit. I can't believe I did that. Um... Has updated as well, but I'm not approved by his update uh, necessarily because he he's got a new intro, outro, and view and order discretion, which I provided for him. But the fact and his rant was really good. But the issue I had with it was him mm, mm, talking about stuff that he should not have mentioned. You don't mention places where you live. If you're really that desperate in figuring out where I live, I mean, it's not too hard if you do a little bit of looking, but I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Um, 
Then my social channel I have not updated yet, but I'm gonna be updating soon. I got another thing down the works. Um, BT Deviants is not updated. Uh, Noki76 is not updated, but we're, we're getting there. We're gonna be updating sooner or later. I mean, well, I mean, Noki76 did do a you know behind the scenes 13, but I think I explained that in 62. I'm not entirely sure. Um, Callstromag, fuck him. He didn't update again. Um, sadly. And then, uh, X Ether X has a new name apparently, uh, called Digital Fear or something like that. It's, um, or Digital Here. Some it's Digital Hero. I don't know how the fuck to say it. Um, I'll be putting that in my links below where you can go check out his new channel. Uh, and Roy's Video Game Center, whatever the hell it's called, is also updating as well. Um, check out the link below. It's basically only doing a walkthrough or let's play, something like that. And anything else I've missed? Nope, but that's about it, YouTube. And like I said, I'm I'm making the wide angle lens a standard recording. It's not I'm not going back to the, the other recording for a while or if ever. Um and I prefer the wide angle lens anyways. It makes it a lot easier for me to sit close but have that far away view where in previous times, I'm definitely too close, my chin kept getting cut off, my head kept getting cut off, and you couldn't even see the complete poster. So, luckily enough, I got that all taken care of. Um, so yeah, Mr. Crabble's going to sign out for now. Uh, I'll see you in 64 when I get around to editing and recording it. I don't have much time left in college. You could tell I'm starting to record more. I'm getting there. And, like I said, I definitely changed my views that I did in, you know, last year. I'm not repeating last year anymore. So, enjoy that video, YouTube. Subscribe later. Subscribe to more videos. Or like this video. Or even comment. Whichever you choose. Until then, I'm Mr. Crackle, and I'll see you later.